Welcome to another quick start guide from Van Walt Limited. This is for the GA5000 landfill gas analyzer. We'll start by turning it on, hold the on button, and this will now go through a startup and test procedure. While that's happening, uh, usual story with rental equipment from Van Walt. This will come fully serviced and calibrated for you. Uh, it comes with everything that you need to operate the machine. Uh, there are some, uh, there's some tubing here for uh, sampling and for exhaust. This tubing, you can see, this has got a filter on it. This is incredibly important. Uh, the filters uh, trap any moisture uh, and stop it from ingressing into the machine. Uh, make sure you use these filters. There are a couple of spare if they do get blocked up. Uh, but uh, if you do end up sucking moisture into the machine, you could be in for a very expensive repair bill. So very important. Okay, so we've completed a test now. It's done a quick uh, purge self-test complete. Uh, so now I'm going to press the next button. And we're actually reading live here already. Uh, so what we can do, if you're interested uh, purely in analysis here, we can press the pump button. And we're now pumping. I'll stop that for a second. We need to do that through uh, one of the ports in the top here. So we have uh, a, a white port, a blue port, and a yellow port. And the white port is for your uh, sampling, for your analysis. The yellow port here is for uh, exhaust. So I'm going to connect my yellow tube into the exhaust and my white tube into the analysis port. And we can immediately go to analysis. We can start the pump and this is now running. I'll start this again and introduce some gas so that we can see the readings alive. And you can see these readings dropping again. And it will hold the peak readings here. Okay, we can turn the pump off again. And if you want to reset these peak readings, we can just go uh, press the button for next ID. I do have an ID loaded here, but I'm going to use uh, the no ID button. And it's just asking you to disconnect so that we can purge the system. So I'll disconnect this tubing. Press next. And you can see it counting down here. But what I'm going to do actually is uh, press the pump button again just to stop that. Okay, so there's a start function here. This will take us through the, uh, the full uh, settings so we can press the start button. This will take us to the pressure test function. So again, it's asking us to disconnect all the tubing and then we have here the relative pressure and we can zero that using the zero button. We're now zeroed, we can press the next button. And now it's asking us to connect the tubing to the correct port, so it's the white port here. So we'll do that. And then we can press the next button. And now you can see we have our pressure reading here. So I'll give it some artificial pressure. and we can press the next button and now it's fixed that reading and now we can go on to the gas readings so moving on press the button for gas readings and again it's asking us to connect the correct tubing so we're going to connect to the exhaust tubing press the next button and now it's taking our live readings again. Again, I'll introduce a little bit of gas so that we can fix a live reading. Uh, 
should be enough for demonstration purposes. Compress gas readings. And again, it's fixed those readings now. Let's turn my gas off. And now we can move on to flow readings. Press the flow button. And again, it's asking us to remove the tubing. So we're removing the clear tubing from the white port. We're now moving it to the blue port. That's what I will do. And you can see we have our flow here at the moment. So we want to zero our flow because we have no flow. And now I can take a flow reading from my uh, well. So I can take a snapshot. In fact, I'll give it some flow again artificially. And flow readings fixed. So there we have it. So for one well, we have our gas analysis. We've got our pressure reading and we've got our flow reading. And now we can store this. Reading stored for successfully. And now we can start again using the start button. And we're back to the beginning of the cycle. From the main run screen, we can access our stored information by pressing the menu button. View data is number three, so we're going to press number three here. And here is our stored data. We, we've got one of one here at the moment, and we're, we have no ID for this particular sample. At any time, if you want to purge the system, we can disconnect this tubing. And we can press the pump button and we can purge inside. And indeed, the system will purge when you turn off, so we can turn off from here. And as it's turning off, it'll go through a purge to protect the sensors inside. If you know that your machine is already clean and purged inside, we can do the abort button and then it will turn off. For full details on this unit, there is a full manual supplied, and we do recommend that you read that. And as always, if you have any questions, you can contact us direct.